Okay, those of you who are looking for an update on my tank, here it is. It is doing um, great, I would say. I got this uh, clam about a month and a half ago, and it is awesome. It's hard to get the brilliance of the colors from this angle. It looks a lot better from the top, but I'll have to shut the water off to try that. But there's the Recordia. I think it's getting ready to split. I'm not even sure if that's how they grow, but it looks like it's ready to split. There's my clown with the frog spawn. My rock flower anemone, which I just was looking at some old pictures. That's approximately 12 years old now. Um, there's a blasto. That's not. That's the only thing that's not doing great. You can see it's kind of transparent. I got some uh, little zoanthids down here. They're kind of uh, pink and teal. Green button polyps. Got this nice little cluster of orange zoanthids. That started out as about three polyps. Now we get about ten or so on there. And this little feather duster grew out from under it, which is kind of cool. Toadstool's looking good. And here's an acro I got. Got good polyp extension on it. It's been in there for about a month and it's doing pretty well. Got my uh, monopora, it's starting to grow in that second tier there. And I got another green monopore with little red polyps on it, which is pretty neat. You can see this is some fresh rock that I put in. I didn't like the way that the other rock that I had in there looked. So I got this new stuff in there. Um, I was battling dinoflanges for, however you say it, I'm not exactly sure. but battling that for about two months and I went ahead and I I treated uh, vibrant I believe is what it was called and dosed that every day for about a week and I did a three-day blackout and it was like magic it just disappeared I still got my MP10 back there, circulating, doing good. Um, I was having a bit of an issue where there would be a big spot here because my returns are over that side. I would have like a dead spot. It, it kind of looked like inside of this feed ring here. And so I was able to get the these um, flanged fittings there from Bulk Reef Supply. And I also tried to put my power head up here and pointed it up at the surface. Well, you can kind of see there's a little bit of it right in the middle there. But uh, that seems to be helping a lot. I've got, I've been feeding different coral foods out of my automatic feeder here. I feed basically one tiny scoop three times a day of I do one scoop of reef chili one scoop of coral frenzy and one scoop of the reef roids this see the scoop tiny little scoop so basically it's three of those scoops a day and everything seems to be doing pretty good because of it I also for Christmas got a reef octopus skimmer and the thing is awesome it pulls out the nastiest sludge I was never able to get my vertex skimmer to work but this thing is great and it's super easy to clean um, I have not been running the filter socks I run them for about an hour after I do a water change and scrape anything off the glass so that it catches whatever gets scraped off um, I did add all of this live rock, well, it's not live rock yet, it's all cleaned up, but I added all that to the sump. 
made this little cage so I could take it out and clean out the sump fairly easy. And it's already got quite a few copepods swimming around in there. I saw them. Um, we've got the bulk reef supply titanium heater with the Inkbird controller. That works pretty good. MP10 mounted uh, controls down there. I tried to label most of my stuff on my uh, plugs so that I knew what everything was. Um, I added a shut off there to try and change up the water flow on the top, but didn't really do end up doing much, so I just left it open. But yeah, that is pretty much the uh, the tank there. I'm still running the the Max Spec Razor Light, which I was ready to throw away because I thought that was the problem with my tank, but. I don't think so now because everything's growing fairly well under it. So I'd like to get some more frags soon, maybe a couple more fish. My um, my royal grandma died. I've had him for probably five years now, so that was kind of a bummer. All in all, I'm happy with the changes I've made, and we'll keep it going.